Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim and Assalamu alaikum everyone. Uh, we are talking about the different stakeholders and now you talk about a very important stakeholder who are the directors uh, and corporate management structure. So it's very important to understand the role of directors and also the corporate management structure. And nowadays uh, we also have uh, the uh, director uh, programs whereby institutions like the social, uh, like the Securities Exchange Commission of Pakistan are actually uh, educating and conducting very comprehensive structured workshops for the directors so that they can understand their responsibilities and carry them out in a better way. Now, when we look at the uh, corporate management structure, uh, the board is expected to lay down uh, policies, procedures and programs uh, for securing the implementation of policies uh, under their guidance and continuous supervision and communicating the decision to the rest of the staff, the board appoints CEOs for the company. So what we see is, is that whatever policies, uh, procedures and programs uh, are finalized by the board, uh, they have the chief executive officer and his team, uh, which usually are called C-suite officers. That means they are different chief officers. They could be a chief financial officer, a chief operating officer, chief information officer, chief human resource officer. Uh, they could be a chief knowledge officer, chief training officer. So all of these different uh, chief officers are a part of the core team of the chief executive officer. And the chief executive officer is appointed by the board. And what they do is, is that they secure the implementation uh, <coughs> of the different policies uh, under the guidance and supervision uh, of the BOD and also ensure uh, that the decisions of the board of directors is communicated to all of the staff and uh, everyone works within that particular ambit and within that particular framework without transgressing uh, those policies and procedures which would ensure a more homogenized and more standardized approach of management uh, within the corporation and that is the essence of the corporate management uh, structure. The chief executives serve as a link between the board of directors on one side and the operating organization on the other and therefore they act as a bridge. Their work consists of interpreting the policy decisions for the benefit of those responsible for the execution and dealing on a day to day basis of the problems of the business operation. So that is very important and that also ensures that the organization works in a better way and therefore the chief executive officer has a very pivotal role uh, not only acting as a bridge but also ensuring that the operations of the organization are executed and implemented in the best possible way by all of the different stakeholders and by all of the different employees and thereby contribute to the well-being, towards the profitability, towards the optimization of that particular organization. Now, when we look at this particular structure uh, over here, this is a very important structure because this is the corporate management structure. Uh, on one side, you see that they are the shareholders who elect the board of directors and those board of directors then through a proper uh, merit-oriented, transparent uh, framework or methodology then appoint the chief executive officers and senior active executives, which I was uh, basically mentioning as the C officers, the, the chief officers of the organization. Uh, they are appointed by the board of directors. Now, they, uh, the board of directors then form executive committees and a very important executive committee is the HR committee. And what we see is, is that this HR committee then uh, tends to uh, interface uh, with all of the employees. And in that interface, what we see is, is that these executive committees then tend to regulate the different things. So there could be a financial executive committee, there could be an HR executive committee, there could be an operational executive committee, uh, there could be uh, a, uh, a knowledge executive committee. So uh, those executive committees are formed by the board of directors and usually what we see is that uh, there are one or two uh, board of directors in each committee and sometimes they also have uh, different experts uh, which join in with them to ensure that the company works in a better way. So this corporate management structure is very important. Uh, and it has to be practiced in its very essence uh, to ensure better results. Now, Lord Craneworth basically mentioned uh, about the company director that the directors are a body to whom is delegated the duty of managing uh, the general affairs of the company. A corporate body can only act by agents and it is of course the duty of those agents to act as best to promote the interests of the corporation whose affairs they are conducting. So again, the ultimate responsibility is with the board and the board is constituted by the different company directors and they have to ensure as agents of all of the shareholders that everything done uh, is done properly, it is done transparently, it is done through integrity and the best practices uh, are followed uh, and the company is not uh, compromised in any possible way and that is the duty of all of the directors. Now, when we look at the Companies Act of 2017, then it defines the director as a director including any person occupying the position of director by whatever name called and uh, it's very important because different responsibilities are assigned to the director and the directors are at the senior most level and above uh, the chief executive officer 
of that particular company. Along with responsibilities, uh, powers that the director holds determine the way it can function in a corporate management structure. A director may be defined as a person having control over the direction, the conduct, management and superintendence of the affairs of the company. So, the directors have an overarching role and it is their responsibility. They cannot, uh, they cannot sleep uh, and say that, uh, okay, we uh, basically do not want to be responsible. They are ultimately responsible. Either they take the responsibility or do not take the responsibility, but the responsibility ends with them. And therefore, the board uh, is a very uh, important organization which is uh, elected by the shareholders and therefore, they carry that responsibility on their shoulders and have to ensure proper uh, good governance and proper management through whatever structure that they tend to create. And therefore, uh, the, uh, the supra management structure of an organization and the board of directors basically uh, go glove in hand and they move forward. Uh, through a very judicious and through a very professional and through a very meticulous articulate approach of management to make the company uh, basically grow in a better way. So, that is the very essence uh, of the corporate management system and also of the role of the director. Thank you so much.